I started doing this work when I was young, in 1983. It was really a hobby then. I was just interested in how dolls were made. I had done similar things before that. I was model making, tailoring clothes for my children, and making decorative items. This is Almira Abbasla. She has turned doll making into an art. It was actually a carpet symposium in 1983 that played a major role in helping Almira choose her profession. She was working then as an artist designer and was asked to make dolls in national costume to present to guests of the symposium. Her efforts were successful and the experience proved to be a turning point for her. Almira set out to learn the secret of the art of doll making and express her inner world through her works when you look at the doll she makes, each one tells you its own story, with every detail contributing to the tale. This is Salima. She is the Sultan's lover. She is wearing this red dress because she wants to dance before him. When making the headdress, the idea came to my mind that the girl was thinking about the palace where she lives. This is the Sultan's palace, and I incorporated it into the turban. There is something inside of me when I make a doll, but I need time to bring it into the physical world. 24 hours are not enough. I draft them and keep them for a while. I have many that are still waiting for their turn. Dolls go through several stages before they are ready. The most difficult one is creating the image in Elmira's mind. Once it is there, work begins in the workshop. Cutting and shaping are done first. In the small skylit studio in her house, the doll's bodies and faces are prepared. Then come the clothes, for which she selects the right textiles. She needs a delicate touch to convert simple materials like cans and colorful glass into eye-catching jewelry. Almira was born and raised in the oldest part of Baku, the old city, and so for many of her works she resorts frequently to images of the Baku of times past. Although the image of a grandmother is very familiar in her works, she doesn't forget other characters, merchants, tea house owners, cloth peddlers. The dolls take you back to the narrow alleyways of the old city, looking through the small windows in the winding neighborhoods and wandering into a world of fairy tale. My grandmother and her tales played a huge role in my life. She was a very nice, calm woman. So my first doll was dedicated to my grandmother's character. This work is called The Grandma's Happiness. The cobbler has loved her since his youth, and whenever she walks along the street, the cobbler sits and stares at her. He thinks of himself as a very happy man. Although his shoe has split open, he is too busy repairing for others to fix his own. According to Elmira, there is one particular reason why people like her works. I have noticed that many people look at my works on the internet and at exhibitions, and they like them a lot. I asked myself what attracts them, because there are many artists making dolls. It seems that it's their accuracy that brings most people to my works. While she has been inventing dolls for more than 30 years, she continues tirelessly working on her own. And thanks to her talent and golden hands, Almira Abbasla is one of the country's most skillful practitioners of the art of doll making.